Hello students, myself Sandeep Chaudhary and welcome to Textile 2020. What we are going to discuss today? Today we will discuss an important topic of textile which is, which is yarn numbering system. Yarn numbering system is basically a system in which we give a number to the yarn. Everything which we buy in our daily life or uh, any product we want to buy or we want to make, we need a number like if we want a shoe then we we have to tell the number of shoes that we need like uh, five number six number eight number if we want to buy uh, any any material like sugar then we uh, we need to tell the shopkeeper that we want one pound sugar two pound the weight like the number similarly to buy yarn we want to tell the manufacturer that we need this number of yarn or this much quantity of that yarn. So yarn numbering system is a system in which a number is given to the yarn as per the thickness or fineness of the yarn or you can say as per the coarseness or fineness of the yarn. This is yarn numbering system. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed our channel, then please subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of our latest video and uh, this will also motivate us to produce better content for our viewers and if you want to learn about different topics related to textiles whether it is knitting weaving advanced weaving designing different types of weave how they are constructed then you can download android app Textile 2020 where you can watch different types of online courses available on different topics to study about the textiles. So let us start our video. Yarn numbering system is a system in which a number is given to the yarn according to the coarseness or fineness of the yarn by using different parameters by using different units. Yarn numbering system is of two types direct yarn numbering system and indirect yarn numbering system. In case of direct yarn numbering system, we use the principle of mass per unit length. Like the number is given by measuring the mass of a unit length of yarn. Mass is the weight of the yarn and length is the measurement of the yarn in lengthwise direction. So, in case of direct yarn numbering system, we use tax and denier. So, first we will talk about tax. So, if we define tax, it is the weight in grams of a yarn, weight in grams in 1000 meter length of yarn, weight in grams in 1000 meter length of yarn. So this tax is basically based on this principle mass per unit length. The unit length is 1000 meter and the weight in grams is the mass of that yarn. So to calculate the tax of any yarn we need 1000 meter length of yarn. The 1000 meter length is weighed in grams and the weight of that yarn is called as tax. For example, if we weigh a 1000 meter length of yarn and it will give us 10 gram weigh, then the tax will be 10. If it weighs 20 grams, then the tax will be 20. Similarly, the weight that we will get from 1000 meter length of yarn, it will be the tax of that yarn. Now, if we talk about denier, the second direct yarn numbering system denier, we also denote the yarn in denier or tax. In case of denier, it is weight in grams in one 9000 meter length of yarn. So it is also based on the same principle mass per unit length, here the unit length is 9000 meter. In case of tax, the unit was 1000 meter, here the unit length is 9000 meter. So the weight in grams of 9000 meter length of yarn is called as denier. So to calculate the denier of yarn, we need 9000 meter length of yarn. 
we will weigh that 9000 meter length and the weight that we will get from that 9000 meter length is called as denier. If it is 10 grams then the denier will be 10, 50 grams then the denier will be 50, 90 grams then the denier will be 90. So the 9000 meter length weighs in grams is called as denier of that yarn. Also we can say that uh, denier is equal to tax into 9. If we have tax of a yarn and we want to calculate denier, then we can simply multiply the tax by 9 and we will get denier of that yarn. Because this is 1000 meter and this is 9000 meter. So denier is 9 times that of tax. That is why we are using denier is equal to 9 tax or tax into 9. We simply multiplied tax by 9 and we will get denier of that yarn. So we can calculate denier from tax and if we want to calculate tax and denier is given then also by dividing denier by 9. If we divide denier by 9 we can get tax. For example if a yarn is having 90 denier a yarn of 90 denier calculate its tax then simply by dividing it by 9 we can get the tax that is 10 tax or if a yarn of 10 tax calculate its denier then 9 into 10 90 denier. So this is direct system of yarn numbering in which we use the principle of mass per unit length. In case of tax weight in gram of uh, 1000 meter length in case of denier weight in grams of 9000 meter length. Now let us talk about the second system of yarn numbering which is indirect yarn numbering system. In this system English count, metric count, posted count, there are so many system which are included in indirect system of yarn numbering. In this system we use the principle length per unit mass. In direct system this principle was mass per unit length but in case of indirect system it is length per unit mass. So we can say that the length varies in indirect system whereas the mass remain fixed. In case of direct system, the length was fixed, the mass is varying like 1000 meter and 9000 meter was fixed but the weight in grams was different for different types of yarn. But in indirect system, the mass is fixed, the length is varying depending upon the fineness or coarseness of the yarn. So if we define English count which is mostly used in industry, it is denoted by any. So we can define number of hanks of 840 yards in 1 pound weight of yarn. So here the weight is the mass is fixed 1 pound but the hanks are not fixed only the length of one hank is fixed number of hanks of 840 yards in 1 pound so if we want to calculate english count of a yarn then we need to take 1 pound weight of yarn and then we will produce hanks of that yarn, each hank of 840 yards. And if the hanks that we produce from one pound weight of yarn are 20, then the count will be 20. If the number of hanks of 840 yard in one pound weight are 50, then the count will be 50. So it depends upon the number of hanks that we are making from one pound weight of yarn. So we took one pound weight which is fixed in case of English count and then we will make hanks of that yarn, each hank of 840 yards. So number of hanks of 840 yards in one pound is called as English count. So the next indirect count is metric count which is denoted by NM, M for metric, E for English. So metric count we can say similar to this principle length and length per unit mass but in case of metric count 
we will make lengths of number of lengths of 1000 meter in 1 kilogram weight of yarn so the mass length per unit mass the mass is fixed 1 kilogram and we will produce lengths of 1000 meter in 1 kilogram weight of yarn that is we will take 1 kilogram weight of yarn and we will produce length or we will measure 1000 meter length 1 again 1000 meter length 2 1000 meter length 3 4 5 6 the number of length that we can make from 1 kg weight of yarn is the metric count of that yarn if we we can make 40 length of 1000 meter then the metric count is 40 50 length then the metric count is 50 so the number of length of 1000 meter in 1 kg weight of yarn is called as metric count of that yarn another one is worsted count in worsted count we will make number of hanks of 560 yards in 1 pound weight in english count we were calculating number of hanks of 840 yard but in case of worsted woolen count we are calculating number of hanks of 560 yards worsted count in 1 pound weight of yarn this is also an indirect system of yarn numbering in which the weight is fixed but the length is varying depending upon the coarseness and fineness of the yarn so these are the types of yarn numbering system direct and indirect which we use in industry to denote the yarn number in case of direct system in which tax and denier we are using as the number increases for example we are having two yarn one of 10 tax and another is of 100 tax yarn having 10 tax is finer and the yarn with 100 tax is coarser so we can say in case of direct yarn numbering system the coarseness increases as the number or the tax of yarn increases similarly in denier as the number increases the coarseness of yarn increases the higher the number the coarser the yarn in case of direct system whereas in case of indirect system as the number increases the yarn becomes finer higher the number finer the yarn it is reverse in case of indirect system because the principle we are using in direct system is mass per unit length and in case of indirect system it is length per unit mass that is why in case of direct system as the number increases the yarn become coarser and in case of indirect system as the number increases the yarn becomes finer so these are the types of yarn numbering system i hope you will get some understanding about the yarn numbering system if you find this video useful you can share with your friends you can give us a like on this video you can give comments for this video as well as for other topics that you want us to make videos you can mention those topic we will try to make a video and to give it to you as soon as possible if you want more videos you can go to the description links are given of different videos you can view our playlist where you can see different videos of different topics you can follow us on our instagram page which is textile help underscore official you can also follow us on facebook this is our facebook page if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of our latest video thank you so much for watching